right, boys and girls, it was a nice uh, overnight flight from Chicago to Barcelona. It is now 11 a.m. We're in the rental car, and I'm not even sure how to drive this car. It's a Fiat, and it's weird, but uh, we're in Spain, and we're going to drive to Andorra today, maybe stop by a couple of uh, small towns on the way. So if you're ready, I'm going to try to drive this thing. All right, so it was a very adventurous drive. Uh, if for nothing else, for the GPS, I went in a lot of circles, took a lot of wrong turns, uh, a lot of U-turns, but we finally made it. We're in Montserrat, and we're at the um, the monastery of Montserrat. I got hungry, so first is lunch, a little rice salad. I don't know what this is, but it looked good, and uh, a little view, a little view for lunch before we uh, get started here in Montserrat, and then head to Andorra. a lot bigger than I thought. You've got the funicular, you've got the Teleferico cable car, and restaurants and hotels, and uh, this big, beautiful monastery behind me. Definitely worth the, uh, worth the drive up, or take the funicular. go we are crossing into Andorra Woo! all right we are officially in country number 131 Andorra beautiful day here so I don't know what the deal was but as soon as I drove into Andorra this huge traffic gridlock uh, like the 405 freeway at 7.30 a.m. Just, we're just crawling and uh, I'm sleepy. Tired, I'm on my hotel bed. Beautiful day though. All right, so here's the uh, interesting restaurant that I'm at today. All right, we're up nice and early. Day number two, Andorra. Finally got a little bit of sleep last night, which I needed. And we're gonna explore the city for about an hour before our next adventure in the mountains, which is gonna be pretty exciting. It's a surprise. One thing I appreciate when I travel most places is it's a great opportunity to get some exercise, but not boring exercise like in the gym, but actually exercise like, like walking up these steps and taking in the views and finding surprises all around. Well, one thing's apparent, I pretty much have the town to myself. A couple of joggers, uh, but that's it. It's Sunday morning, Sunday morning here in Andorra. So a couple of people walking their dogs, a couple of tourists walking around like me, but that's it. Uh, everything's quiet and shut down. There's not much traffic.
Old Town uh, is amazing, and I have it all to myself right now. People are just getting up. A couple of people are opening their windows, watering their flowers, walking their dogs. Other than that, it's just us. Let's explore. This is better than any gym workout because instead of staying on a treadmill and watching TV, you're actually exploring in real life. And yes, I'm out of shape. <laughs> Thanks for noticing my shortness of breath. Hey, baby. Here. Just had a fantastic, you wouldn't call it a breakfast, but just uh, uh, coffee and uh, a little sweets had a uh, delicious fruit uh, torta or fruit uh, I don't know what you call it in English but it was amazing so nice little bakery great coffee free Wi-Fi nice spot to chill on to the next I just had a couple of orange juices at uh, Cafe Lissard behind me and they do make fresh orange juice which was fantastic. I needed a little vitamin C. So uh, yeah, Cafe Lissard. It's a beautiful day in Andorra. I love the music too that this uh, this radio station plays. Muy sexy. Muy buenos dias, amigos. It is uh, Randy, and by the way, that's my car. That Fiat has been my car for this journey. We're at an amusement park called Natulandia, which means nature land. So we're gonna have some fun in nature land today. Let's go. So the main reason I came to uh, Natulandia, nature land, is to ride the toboggans. Uh, should be pretty fun. Let's go on a toboggan ride. By the way, Natulandia is way up in the mountains. We are way up in the, uh, the Pyrenees Mountains, and it was quite a drive up here. Let's find our toboggans. So you're not supposed to use your phone or your camera on this ride because you'll, you'll lose your camera, so I'm gonna put my phone in my pocket. You'll have to use your imagination, what's about to happen. Well, I'm going to put my phone away, but uh, we have a little straightaway where this toboggan starts. So I thought I would say goodbye. Wish me luck. Here we go through the mountains of Andorra. <laughs> this is so cool. All right, we're almost to the top. And then, then I'm going to put my phone away because apparently you go pretty fast when you're going downhill. So this is the, uh, the automatic climb.
so I'm not gonna lie, I'm getting a little freaked out. I've been climbing. I've been climbing for like 15 minutes. And what goes up must come down. That was absolutely awesome. That was my cart. We were going super fast. Awesome time. All right, well, I had an absolutely awesome morning here at uh, Natulandia, but uh, now let's go to France for lunch. Would you, would you like to go to France? I think we should go to France for lunch. Let's go. So this is the most interesting detour I've ever seen in my life. Uh, they're doing some construction on the road. So apparently they're routing people, they're detouring people through the mall. Actually through the mall. If you go the other way, uh, yesterday when I came in, they detoured us actually through the parking garage. So think about that for a second. Detouring an entire road, an entire highway. Think about if they closed the freeway and detoured you through the parking garage of a mall. I thought, I thought that was pretty cool. Pretty inventive. See these guys, they're going from the road into the mall. Hello officer. All right, he just yelled at me to put the phone away. Interesting, right? All right, pay attention class. We're about to leave. Watch this, because we're gonna, we're gonna pass through some countries really quickly. We're about to leave Andorra and we're entering Spain. Leaving Andorra, entering Spain. And ladies and germs, we're back in Spain. We're in Spain, but not for long. All right, here we go. We are almost entering France. Hello, France. I'm about to be in you. Well, I blinked. I blinked and I'm in France. I didn't even see the sign. So yeah, welcome to France. Let's find some lunch. Half the fun of traveling is getting lost. Uh, we're in France, 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 um, and we're in a tiny, tiny town called uh, Onzes. I think that's how you call it. This is the whole town right here. Yeah, this is it. This is awesome. Let's go for a walk. We're just taking a walk, just exploring. You're walking by homes that have built, been built with stone. I mean, how old, how old is this wall? This is just amazing. And then you look up and it's wood. So cool. When I walk through little streets of tiny towns like uh, this town, Onze, um, you, you can't help but wonder, what do these people do out here? What a simple life they must lead. Uh, what an uh, awesome life they must lead, but um, none of the big city stuff that, uh, that we're used to. Uh, I'm, I'm sure it's nice. All right, ladies and germs, our next stop is Bouget Madame. That's the name of the uh, town. Uh, this little town is 
I think it's the very south of France, a couple of miles, or actually like a mile away from uh, Spain. So it's right at the border, but it's the French side. So Bouget, Madame, I know I'm not saying that right, but that's where we are. And we're gonna find some lunch, some lunch -a. I'm starving. Finally. in French. I don't know what any of this stuff is. <laughs> Pretty excited. Appetizer is ham and melon. And it's fantastic on a hot day like this. If you've ever wondered if I have muscles, if you've ever wondered about my muscles, yeah, I've got Lots of muscles, big muscles. And the main course. Okay, so the main dish, the main dish was not good. It looked like raw chicken. It tasted like raw chicken. It was very scary. But it's dessert time. Lunch was um, interesting. Lunch was interesting. You see, try new foods, so I did. They said it'd be fun. Hey, here's a rambling riddle. Right now I'm standing in Spain. I'm in Spain. I'm looking at France. That, that's France. But I'm, I'm looking south. So think about that. I'm standing in Spain. I'm not on an island, I'm on the mainland. I'm standing in Spain, looking south right now. I'm looking south and I'm looking at France. How is that, look at the map. Look at the map and you'll see why it's weird. I'm standing in Spain. I'm looking south. I'm looking, that's south, south. And that's France. France is right there. 200 feet. So how is that possible? What do you think? All right, so the answer kids, the answer is Libya, or should I say Yivia, because the two L's. Uh, Libya or Yivia is a Spanish enclave in France. So we're actually in Spain, but also in France. Libya, Yivia, Google it. Yivia kids, yes, we learn something every day. All right. All right, checked in at the hotel here in uh, Yivia and um, I travel alone most of the time. I should have brought some friends on this one. I mean, hey, you've got uh, your pick. Just me. Just me, three beds. The three little bears. All right, let's check out the view. A little balcony here. Yeah. All right, it's time to explore. By the way, the outside of the hotel, it's that guy. It's a pretty cool little, uh, little hotel, little special hotel. So it's Sunday and the, the streets are pretty, uh, pretty bare. Looking for dinner options tonight. La Bambola. Pizzas and crepes? Yes. Oh, hello. My treat radar went off. Doesn't that look good? Mmm. By the way, I can smell these from out here. Holy smokes. Okay, I couldn't resist. I bought the 
box of cookies. Those, they just look too sexy not to. Don't those look good? And no, you may not have one. They're gonna be gone by the time you watch this video. Here's the view from the inside. It's a little easier to see. So yeah, I just bought some cookies from the cookie store. So I have to uh, take them back to my room so there's not a cookie disaster, so, so they don't melt. That would ruin my day if they melted. They were not cheap, but uh, they're, oh, they're gonna be worth it for the plane ride home. Oh well, nice to see that uh, I'm unable to make it 100 yards from my hotel room without purchasing cookies says a lot about my character and my lack of breath. Okay, exploring, take two. Please don't see any more bakeries. Please don't see any more bakeries. Please don't see any more bakeries. Please, damn. So some of these uh, buildings are older than dirt. Yivia is a town uh, very, very old, um, and that's apparent by some of the buildings. The building behind me built in 1760, 1760. It's pretty amazing. It's pretty old too. Oh yeah. Go inside and take a peek. This is the Our Lady of Angels Church, and they began construction in the 15th century. So, yeah, a long time ago. All right, this town was cool. I'm going to see what else is in the exclave of Yivia. This is the, the main town, the center of town, the capital, but I'm going to go check out some other little towns here. This is a beautiful, beautiful place. Absolutely beautiful green. There's not a lot of people. All right, this is awesome. De vendre le carburant a pris coup de temps. Chez Leclerc, pour défendre tout ce qui compte pour vous, on ne baisse jamais les bras, mais on baisse les prix. All right, we went exploring. We went up to the uh, the little town of uh, Sereja. Sereja, I think means cherry. I could be way off. Anyway, check it out. Definitely a pretty awesome view. I'm glad I came up here. All right, I think I said the village wrong. Cereja. I don't know, man, I need to go back to Spanish class. Spanish, Portuguese, it all mixes together. I think it's Cereja. And uh, it's up in the mountains. Look at that gorgeous view. Take a walk. I like to play a game that places I would go if I was trying to hide from the law. And I'd move into that house right there. Nobody would find me. Who's gonna look for me here? 
He's in Spain. No, he's in France. No, we don't know where he is. It's pretty awesome, right? All right, folks, end of the line. I hope you enjoyed uh, Sereja. That's how you spell it, so. Sereja. Sereja. In Portuguese, it would be Sereja. Anyway, uh, it's nice up here. I'm the only one here. So, look at the fields behind me, though. Isn't that beautiful? I've had my share of Catalan food this trip, and I didn't want to chance it for dinner, so. It's pizza time. All right, so it's 8.20. I know what you're thinking. Hey, time to hit the bar. It's time to hit the discoteca. No, no, no. Time to hit the bed. I got the jammies. I got a little pizza. I'm gonna eat the whole thing myself. And it's a wrap in Livia. We'll see you tomorrow. It's uh, 7.40 a.m. I'm looking for breakfast. Everything's shut down. It's Monday, by the way. It's not Sunday anymore. And uh, I'm a little hungry, I gotta get to the airport, but everything is closed. I think that's how they do it around here. They sleep in late. All right, so the, uh, the hotel owner uh, came back and uh, served a really good breakfast uh, at about eight o'clock. It's uh, close to nine, so we gotta get on the road, uh, heading back to Barcelona to uh, catch a flight home. But Yivia was such an awesome stop. Successful trip. Dropped the car off at the uh, car rental. We're at the uh, Barcelona airport. And it's time to go home. Like nothing happened. Just a normal weekend. Monday, 7 o'clock, we are back in the United States, Los Angeles, to catch a train home. Almost the perfect flawless trip, except uh, I missed my train. So I'm gonna walk down Olvera Street, see if I can find a taco before the next train.